Rick back at the naturopath. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Before we jump into this video, don't forget at the end of the video, you can download some free resources that I've created just for you. The Candida Diet and Cleanse Starter Guide, the ultimate Candida uh, shopping list, the diet shopping list, and also the Candida, Candida Symptom Tracker, which you're gonna find very useful. So these are all for free. So at the end of the video, just jump into yeastinfection.org forward slash goodies and you can, down, you can download these things at no charge at all. If you have any questions, remember you can always ask those and either I can get back to you or the team. So thanks for tuning in and we'll catch up with you at the end of the video. Derek Backer, naturopath, thanks for coming back. Let's talk about biofilm busters. Everyone talks about biofilm busters. It almost sounds like the supplement version of ghost busters, doesn't it? So five minutes ago, I never heard of the word biofilms. I would just treat patients. They would either get an outcome that was positive or an outcome that was not so positive. And that's how it went. So we started to really think about what was effective for this person. For this person, we weren't thinking about a biofilm over here or about you know uh, the DAO levels or this level, blah, 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 as that girl from Norway or Sweden says, blah, 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 blah. We weren't blah, blah, blah. We're actually treating people, right? Now you'll think, this guy's talking crap. We've got science today. Well, I'm sorry to wake you up, but we had science yesterday too. But we also had what's called observations. We actually looked at people you know, we listened to people, we carefully followed them with test results, and then we found out what worked and what didn't work. And if it didn't work, I'd want to know why the hell it didn't work. Was the patient not working for me and for herself? You know, was the product not working? Was the diet not working? What was not working? I wasn't looking at, oh, should we bust a biofilm with this product? I didn't care about biofilms, I just treated people. But now biofilms are big. But hello, guess what we're finding? All the treatments I've recommended for 20, 30 years were biofilm busting treatments because they bloody worked. Okay, so let me read this study for you. A study was published in 2021, so it's not 100 years old. This is recently, I think this is May or June last year. Now there's hundreds of studies like this on the internet. Candida biofilms are tolerant to conventional antifungal therapeutics and host immune systems. The transition of yeast cells to hyphae is considered a key step in Candida albicans biofilm development. So if we look at yeast, they start off as cells, okay? They change and you'll see the thread-like hyphae appearing. This is how they create films. You might see this on a piece of bread sometimes, you know, or, or some moldy cheese. You might see all those tiny little hairs coming up everywhere, they're called hyphae. So, so this transition from the cell to the hyphae happens through a molecule called Farnazole. It's a particular molecule, right? Now, this study, for example, hypothesized, hypoth hypothesized that fatty acids mimicking Farnazole influence hyphal and biofilm development uh, formation by Candida albicans. So what they did is they looked at, at 31 different types of saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. Um, <clears throat> so, but they found this interesting in the study. These were the best heptanoic acid, octanoic acid, non-anoic acid, decanoic acid, undersanoic acid, and lauric acid. Inhibited candida uh, albicans biofilm formation by more than 75%. At such a tiny rate, we're talking uh, two micrograms per mil. So a very tiny amount of this fatty acid had a, up to 75% inhibition on the formation of biofilm. Now we're talking basically the two, uh, two, of, two of some of the core ingredients in Candida Remove, which is the, the uh, acids. If we look at the fatty acids, undersanoic acid, lauric acid. So we've got different fatty acids in Candida Remove that basically work like biofilm busters. And this is again, another reason why I've always liked coconut oil in people's diets. I talked about coconut a lot, coconut milk, coconut cream. I was talking about coconut decades ago. When I first worked in a medical center a long time ago, alongside a bunch of doctors, I remember a doctor um, accosting me in the waiting room saying, you're mad. I said, why? He said, you're recommending saturated fats for people that create heart disease. He said, that's a stupid thing to do, isn't it? And I said, excuse me? He said, coconut oil. He said, don't you know it, it, it wrecks people's hearts and creates heart attacks and fats. And 
And I just laughed at this guy. I said, man, what planet are you on? I said, it's coconut. I said, it's anti-inflammatory. And he said, it's a saturated fat that makes people sick and die. See, this is the misconception we still have. We had it bad 20 years ago when everyone laughed at me when I was recommending coconut oil. But now people are actually, well, only fools are laughing now. But this just to show how a study can, you know, reveal these types of effects, the biofilm busting effects on basic things that we can eat every single day. So when you eat nice coconut curries, for example, <clears throat> with a good coconut as a base, uh, you're going to have some biofilm effect there on the gut. These foods are fantastic to eat. But if you want a concentrated form of these fatty acids, okay, you need to look at a product like Kanzu to remove because it's far more concentrated form of these fats than you will get in the food realm, you're actually eating the coconut. But people who eat coconut every day are going to have a better gut than people who don't, basically, right? So that's the biofilm approach. I never talked about biofilms, but inadvertently, I always knew that these fatty acids had a great effect on candida long before the study showed that. Thanks for tuning in. Things. It's Eric Backer again, the naturopath. I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, Go to yeastinfection.org forward slash goodies if you want to download my free resources I've created just for people like you. These are things I used in the clinic for patients and you'll find them very useful. It's the free candida diet, the cleanse. So it's a good introduction on how to set your program together. There's the ultimate candida diet shopping list and there's also the candida symptom tracker. Yeastinfection.org forward slash goodies. Thanks for tuning in and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.